Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Vampire. Where we last left off was we basically, uh, shoot, what do we do? Um, we, <laughs> I think we did the main story stuff, which is to fight, uh, Delora, I guess? Yeah, we, we fought the, the lady monster thing in the theater, uh, Delora, uh, Doris, Doris, Fletcher, there we go, there it is, names. I'm slow, it's been a week since the last episode, so I, I totally spaced out when I when it comes to morning plus, morning mood, morning brain, plus like a week long uh, break from the other, from the previous video usually. But yeah, Doris Fletcher, we beated her in the boss fight, which was a surprise for me because I thought I was going to struggle like harder and just have the whole video just be me fighting her, but instead it was just like a half portion of it. Um... So we beat her for once, and then we, we landed in Whitechapel because we had to run away from the, the enemies. And then as we were running back to Whitechapel by accident, we uh, ended up trying to cure whoever. But then we also looked, uh, or I looked it up, uh, what the guide was saying. And they said that there was a body that had the head medicine stuff, that the recipes for the head medicine stuff. Like the headaches, the migraines, or whatever. I mean, no, headaches and migraines are the same thing. Migraine headaches, and then like some other two other like head brain uh, recipe stuff. So we're looking for that in the old chapel, old white chapel. Um, but at the same time we also beat it up uh, Nurse Crane, who was already a vampire basically by that point. We, we fought her, beat it her, and uh, yeah. So we're going to old white chapel. Which is the cemetery yard that we need to go to. In hope that we can find that stupid medicine that I'm, like, seriously needing to look for. Alright, so we need to go straight left. And I'll just go follow that road for now. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was so random. Oh, at least it's not a high level, at least. Ow. Ooh, jeez. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to heal up a little bit. I was not anticipating this guy randomly there. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. That's your finish your mouth. No? There we go. That was really random. I was not anticipating that guy to be, like, randomly there, I guess. Oh, another vampire guy. How am I stupid? Oh, he's... Oh wow! Ah. Okay, let me recover my. Where are you going? Oh, there we go. Oh jeez. Got him. Thank you. All right, I needed the blood anyways. You cannot win this. All right, recovering. Oh, he's a, he's dead. Does the shadow stay alive? No, not really. Okay. Well, at least they're dropping some decent parts, I'd say. Uh, they're at least dropping some decent uh, upgrade parts. But yeah, we're getting back to the cemetery, and uh, yeah. Also, that was like a very big surprise for me. That scared me a little bit, though. Oh, there's a thing over here. Who? What is this? Oh, it's a human. Okay. Human enemy. At least they're just normal enemy types versus having to be, like, random stuff, I guess. Wait, this is the area with the one guy that I haven't befriended yet. Your prey is mine now. Oh, he's down here. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Come on, dude. I didn't even get a chance to, like... Oh jeez. Okay, where is the, where's oh, oh there's Okay, this at least the other thing disappeared at least. Yeah, this is the one spot that uh that I remember walking through but didn't get the one guy behind the door, I believe. Yeah, because there's one guy behind this one door up here somewhere on the second floor that I spoke with briefly, but he didn't really like he didn't really like wanted to get to know me, I guess, I would say. I've heard so many bad things recently, I'm almost glad. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. Right, we needed the Mass level to be 
like high enough to get to this guy, so we finally got it. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. True. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. Mm. All right, doctor, come on in. I just like how bring in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. I am a fool. What do you expect? Anyways, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know this guy was blind. I'm just surprised. Pause and read. Vampires feed on our soul. How can you read this if you're blind? Just out of curiosity, he has like this thing in here. Clarence Crossley. Alright. So that's part of that. Um. Wait. Is that the missing item I needed for the quest? I'm just out of curiosity. I wasn't sure. No, I need two other things. Okay. Two other documents to prove his point that vampires exist. How do you see the world? <clears throat> Excuse me. Loretta's letter. Pause and read, it seems. So Loretta is her... Loretta is the sister of this person. Of Mason, is what I saw the name of this character while walking in. Oh, the shopkeeper. Okay, I didn't know that. That, that medical shopkeeper. So I'm guessing that they... This guy... It's locked, all right. I'm guessing Mason, the brother, is like... What kind of gentleman pays visits to people in this area? You asked that, but you think you think I would know any better? No. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Mason. So, what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed, the eminent surgeon. My God, I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. Mm. I read all your work when I still had my sight. Oh. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. So it is true that this is the brother of the... Uh, it is the brother of the... of the Loretta. How is the sanitary situation evolving in white <clears throat> these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. That's good to hear. Um, sure. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Mm. Don't envy me. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. So he's kind of like the stay-at-home brother where she takes care of him as much as possible while, he, while she's out there being capable of selling this stuff. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. That's kind of a... I feel like that's kind of a little bit of a depressive... <laughs> a depressive view about it. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say... She earns enough money for us both. That's good to What's know. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Ooh, that's pretty sad. So, so what she's been selling all that time is just... Really, that's so weird and sad. Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. Oh. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time. But I'm just not ready to forgive her. I see. So she might have did something to him that he could not forgive. Or... Or did something that caused them to, for, to not be Goodbye, forgiven. Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Actually, does he have any illness? I just realized. Since I'm here. I don't know who that guy is. Wait, so then... Oh, Mason's here. Oh, okay. So Mason's this guy. Then who the hell is this unknown person here? Bring in this part of town at night. You're either brave or a fool. I'm just confused by this by this one guy who I don't know is missing. 
All right, well, let's continue forward with the with the moves up to the cemetery. Man, so we're still going to be fighting a bunch of, like, a bunch of other people, I guess, as we go about here. All right, so we just need to go straight in here. This is where the cemetery is. So they said that there's a there's a crater. This is not the place for you, sir. Where is this guy talking to me? Oh, he's over there. Go back home, idiot. Okay, okay, calm down, jeez. So we need to find a a vampire guy person. We got to find a vampire person in a crater or a dead body in a crater to find out the the recipe of this sort of like uh, headache medicines, all the head medicines. We do have some headache medicines because we've, we've defeated Nurse Crane and she gave us that medicine for free or quote unquote free. Um, but in actuality that is not free because that's literally came after a fight and it doesn't give you the recipe, it just gives you the medicine itself. So we're gonna have to find our way through the space to figure out if we can find that cratered hole that would give us the stuff we need to, uh... uh... I'll take a rat. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'll take a rat just because I need to get some full blood, I guess. And Hopefully the vampires here are not too difficult, hopefully. But we'll have to run about and stuff. Hopefully the vampires or the, the human enemies are not too difficult of a fight in this area. But I'm pretty sure they might be difficult as hell, as always. Okay, we need to find a cratered hole in some place. I'm thinking it's much closer to that lighthouse thing where the, the screaming is coming from, from the last time that we went through it. Looks like an actual door that you can open. But yeah, I think it's like by that lighthouse or that little big building that has like a multi-story floor kind of thing. Yeah, why is this thing shiny? Here lies- oh, clay! Oh, interesting. So if the human is dead, if somebody dies, they can show up their body here. That's interesting. There we go. It's not that bad. 24 is not bad. Alright. At least that's not that bad of a fight. Alright, let's see what's over here. Ooh, what is this? Holy symbols and oraculum, I think it's called, or orchilum, orchilum, orculum. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that last word <laughs> in the title. Pause and read, of course. So it's just like a lot of pamphlets about vampire stuff, I guess. Yeah, we're really cleared out. Like, I'm wondering if there's an achievement for the collectibles here, but I can't tell if there is any. So it's like hard for me to know. But that gives us XP. We got four. We got 4,040 XP, apparently. I didn't even realize. Um, let me see if... Was that one of the stuff that we're looking for, for the investigative stuff? Nope. Not at all, unfortunately. No, I saw something. Oh, never mind. It's just the lighting makes it a glare. I think that's the hard part, is that the when an object is shiny, and they're making this sort of, like, wrapper sort of like wrapper sort of glow uh, it's usually yellow which is kind of hard to notice if it's a difference between the lighting or not so yeah it's something like the crater like this area i thought last time when i saw it when i looked up the information i was like oh maybe it's here because it's a area that seems like a crater almost but i might be wrong so we'll have to keep looking for it somewhere let's fight the vampire here screw it because that thing is going to annoy the hell out of me every time. Oh. Oh, it's level 12 too. It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. If it's just level 12, it's pretty fast anyways. That's nice. At least those guys are... Those vampires are a lot weaker, which I wanted. I don't like fighting, like, enemies that are, like, super tough. It just pisses me off a lot. Okay, we're somewhere else, I guess. It's locked, all right. Oh, this is a safe house. I didn't realize. Um, I don't think I have enough materials for upgrades or anything like that. Oh, not this one, of course. This one. Yeah, we don't have the the fork we needed, do we? Yeah, we don't have the fork we needed. 
Yeah, I don't have a fork, which I need the aluminum plate. Uh, is it aluminum plate? I can't remember for some dumb reason. Aluminum part, not plate. I'd rather call it plate though, because it just looks like a plate to me anyways. We got a remarkable saber, huh? Yeah, we don't have a good handle part. We do have some triggers, which is funnier to me thinking about it. Uh... Yeah, we have a good trigger part here. You know what? Screw it, I'm just gonna make it. Now we just need three more for that one. Yeah, because I'm kind of curious, like, how strong this one is. Even though it's, like, whatever. Increased damage, decreased relo reload speed. How fast is the reload speed for this one? Four seconds. <laughs> Either 15 seconds or more damage. I'm going to do more damage. Might as well. I'm just doing the upgrades here because I just want to, like... Because I want to use these parts a little bit, at least. 518, 562. Uh, 562 is way stronger, but the reload speed will be the cost behind it, it looks like. Yeah, you would have to you have to throw in the cost of like how much you have to like do for that one. Which is fair. No, I'm out of shotgun ammo in here. Yeah, I only got three shotgun ammo in here, sadly enough. Uh, is there anything on this wing? Yeah, I didn't know this is I didn't know this was a safe house over here. It's just random thinking about it now. Interesting area here. Okay. Oof. Alright. So there's nothing here that I needed. But at least the upgrade was there for me to just handle. Okay, so there's nothing here anyways. Alrighty, let's keep looking, I guess. I mean we still need to find the crater in the hole a uh, crater hole in the ground somewhere out here. I mean, I feel like I've searched the area long enough, I thought, but I guess not enough. Oh god, there's a big guy. Oh jeez, got him. At least the other guy is not too big of levels, I guess. Oh jeez, okay, back it up. Oh. Got him. <laughs> I just love how just one chop gets a little bit of that stun in there. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, back it up. Got him again. Oh. Oh, sheesh. Oh, no. No. Mm, I let him chop me up a little bit. Alrighty. Might as well just heal up a little bit for that. I mean, truth be told, they're a little easier when they're like lower level because the damage isn't too high up there, which is good, but yeah, 4,055 XP, wow, great. Okay, so where is this crater, oh god, another guy of this. Oh, okay, I got, gotta get back there. There we go, thank you. Thank you for coming after me. Uh, oh, geez. oh, goodness gracious. Oh, mm. there we go. Thank you. Oh, he's dead already. Okay, cool. At least there's no, like, infected werewolf vampire guy, because I think that would have been worse. Like, if he can, like, just die and then explode and his explosion does more damage than a normal infected vampire that would have been worse <laughs> it would have been absolutely worse because it's like i can't handle the infected style like vampire types because the infected the infected style of vampires are just like insanely ridiculous for how difficult they have to be for dealing with them all right so that's oh yeah we, we defeated the vampire here Alright, where we defeated the werewolf guy here. Another vampire here, randomly. Oh! Oh, it's a teleporter. There's a teleport type enemy here. Nope, don't you dare run. Thank goodness. Oh! This is 
Pick up I wanted food. to pick up the item, not eat the rat. Jeez. <sighs> Alright, so there's nothing here. No, not at all. Sheesh. What area have I not searched, out of curiosity? Oh, maybe this is the area over on the other side over here. Okay, I need to probably go more towards the one that's near the ocean. It looks like there's like a spot near the ocean. Like much closer to the ocean spots. Because I actually did not check that area enough, I think. And then we'll search around the rest if we if it's not near the, the ocean side here. I do hear waves a little bit, which is interesting to me. Alright. Going down here... Okay, we were here earlier, so... Sorry, I'm trying to- I'm trying to figure out where exactly is what. Um... Okay, let's go up to the top here. And we need to go further up the top here, I guess. No. But yeah, I can hear the slight waves, like, roaring on the side of the... of the areas here. We really search this area. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if this is like gonna be the full episode of me just doing this. I should have looked up the guide for where where it is exactly map on the map instead. What is this? Kimura Tad. Oh, the the guy I couldn't save. Ah, oh, why? Why is Tado is here? Tadao, the Japanese guy I couldn't save in the. Uh, earlier episodes. I can't believe his body's already here, which is kind of surprising to me, nonetheless. Okay, not over here. Let me see the map. Yeah, it's going away from the area I wanted to be. Okay, so not... Actually, let me check the boss battle light, uh, ba boss battle area here. I mean, there could be a potential like crater here that I just missed out on because I was so busy being enamored by the fight against Mary. That I just never checked the area thoroughly enough. But I'm pretty sure I did check the area enough usually. Surprised the priestess' body is not dead. Um, nope, not here. Maybe it's in this spot. I did walk by this spot without thinking about it. No, it looks not really much here. This is like the back of the church, I guess, or back of this sort of cemetery church area. Yeah, I can't walk over here, unfortunately. You know, I kind of hoped that you could have just like climbed over things, you know? A little bit of it feels more realistic if it lets players climb over some stuff, instead of just always dashing with the, sh the shadow ability thing. I don't know, just my two cents in thinking that why why shouldn't you try and give a player like climbing, climbing parts but, uh, I mean, I get it. They're trying to block in the, the area so players don't just go around nilly-willy everywhere so that it doesn't break the levels that they, that they need to build to be more exact. Not a big fan of it sometimes, I feel like, to just block people in. But uh, that's what it is, I guess. Specifically, like, I'm thinking, like, how Batman handles it in the Arkham series. Like, playing all the Arkham games, it's like... Open world almost feels realistically good in that sense. Uh, because you get to like go around wherever you need to go around and it's still kind of like whatever. Alright, so that's the exit for the cemetery, but that's not where I need to be, I think. But they did say it could be the old white chapel, so it doesn't have to be the cemetery itself still. Let's see if we check this spot enough. I mean, we, we went through this spot already, so... Yeah, this is where that one guy converted... Uh, the, the priest told us to find his... It's locked. The priest told us to find his weirdo apprentice here, who died. Okay, let's check this out. There's an enemy here. Hi! There's another guy on the other side, so I'm just keeping an eye out on that guy. Oh, okay, he's dead now. Yeah, he had a buddy on the right side. Oh, the shotgun shells, nice. But it's only one ammo, which kind of sucks. Okay, we already went through this spot, so that's good. 
Okay, yeah, we we were here because we eliminated one of the eliminated one of the werewolf guys here. Oh, I thought there was a guy here. Jeez. Okay, no, it's just a gravestone. <laughs> the tombstone like uh, shape makes me think that it was a, an actual person. Is there a thing we can glide up to here? I think I saw. Maybe not. Maybe not at all. Yeah, this. I guess that's it. Like, I don't really see anything. Maybe it's in the old old town area. I guess for reals. Yeah, maybe it's in the old town area. I guess the old cemetery area or old chapel town area. Because we haven't really checked old chapel much because of how difficult it was for me. Like. Personally, I felt like there was a lot more difficulty navigating through this space because not just because of the intricacy of the map design, but because of the fact that the enemies were a little tougher than normal when I got in here for the first time. Now the area is kind of like decent, like it's not the hardest thing around, but still tough nonetheless, of course. Um, no, this goes back to the hospital, I think. But we'll check here nonetheless. I didn't realize these errors were here. Oh, jeez. Got him. Thank you. Alright, let me get back a little bit. We have to stop it. Oh, okay. I'll let him just do whatever. I like how the fire is like it's knocks my max health down a little bit. There we go. Thank you very much. I like how the fire does kind of like knock me down a little bit with my health. Like the max health kind of goes down due to that. Alright. Some more vampires out here, I guess. Uh, nothing over here. Nothing over there. That's just a canal area, I guess. But at least they're cleaning up after after the whole mess of the infected vampire stuff. I think the pre-win is at least cleaning up after us. Alright. Okay. Um, so we haven't found the crater. I'm really pissed a little bit, but I'll have to live with it. Um, so we're gonna look it up right now. I'm gonna look it up right now just to see exactly word for word where the headache medicine is. I only saw the wordings of saying like the description of what to look for but not exactly where exactly uh, the thing is at. And if it's locked behind a door I'm gonna be pissed because it's like the greatest annoyance for me personally because I wanted to actually look for this thing for some time now and it's like I'm not here to like look for level ups or anything. 4085 XP of course but but yeah, overall it's just getting pretty ridiculous, I'd say. Uh, medicine. And there we are. How do you get the headache medicine? How do you get the cure? All I need is just a picture game. Picture or guide, I guess I'd say. Um, I wonder where the corpse is, though. This guy doesn't give me the corpse location. Alright, there's a YouTube video, I guess. I'll, I'll look at the YouTube video, I guess, for now. Come on, game. I Or, ads, great. Thanks, thanks a lot, ad. <laughs> You know what's funny? It's been the the weird YouTube ad poc not ad poc the ad blocker battle. It's interesting to hear hear and see it usually, but I can't say much about it. Um, the blueprint for the thing is what? Are you curious? Uh, okay, I'm gonna search it myself. Let's do that. Alright, sorry. Damn, jeez. Literally, I was walking past it, I guess, somehow. Okay, let's get back to that spot, I guess. No, 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 we're, we're walking in the wrong direction. It seems like it's past the beginning parts of that entrance, I guess, I'd say. 
Wait, am I walking the right direction? Jeez, I'm walking in a... Yeah, I'm walking in a semi-circle, <laughs> which is my fault. So, it's like... It's apparently in the early parts of the area here. In, in this part of the area. But it's past the door here, I think. Yeah, it's past this particular door. I didn't look at the rest of the video yet. I just only saw, like... I only saw, like, chunks. Oh, this is the crater-like area. Ah, okay. And that should be where our formula is. Thank goodness. Okay, that's where the formula is. That is very nutty that it's, like, pretty hot hidden like that in the, uh spot like that all right so we finally found it jeez that took more than it needed to be there is a uh a sort of like hideout here hi there. goodbye uh-huh out jeez thank you very much Another shotgun shells, fantastic. Uh, where is this? Not what I wanted. I have this first. I wanted to. Yeah. I wanted to see the. Uh, or I wanted to get the item that he drops, but it didn't seem like he had anything to drop. I think this is another hideout, like a different type of hideout, I guess. All right, let's see if we can unlock it. Yes! Finally! I can finally craft the items I needed for this stupid, dumb medicine that I've been holding off on for too long. I don't think there was anything new anyways besides that. Alright, so we got the headache medicine. We got two of them, but... Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and save whoever we need to save in these areas and parts. So, Neuralgia would be one of them. Neuralgia 2. Okay, so there's two Neuralgia. Ne ne ah, Neuralgia. Sorry, I'm saying the, the worst... I cannot pronounce it for some dumb reason. Neural, neural, neurogia, neuralgia. I, I say neuralgia, but it's like, it's not really easy to pronounce in my head because it's not a word that I commonly would like encounter in my, my normal like ongoings in life, but sheesh. All right. Mason was one of the people who had the issue. So let's go and do that, I guess, help him out since we did walk by his area here not long ago. Um, I believe he was like a little bit up here, I think. He was past these doors here. Yeah, he was past this door. Hopefully that vampire is not there. Because I, I already I already killed him, so I don't think he should respawn unless I really felt like went to a, an entirely different region or something. Alright, Mason, I'm here to help. Mason! Mason! Good evening, <laughs> Mr. Swan. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Yes. Please come in. Mason. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Sorry, I'm thinking of like heavy rain, like Jason scene. <laughs> what can I do for you, Doctor? I'm here to hear. You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes. Yes. I can give you a little something that has been proven effective. Thank you, Doctor. I mean, at least the medicine. Goodbye, Mr. At least the medicine is just like. In this at least the medicine is just like one, like one medicine knocks out all three of the previous stuff, the whatever, or knocks out the other two previous condition stuff. You're either brave or a fool. At least that's a good sign for what it does. So, yeah. All right, let's head back to the White Chapel itself. I'm hearing some. I'm hearing some knockings, which I'm not a fan of. So we go straight, it looks like. Right here? No, the other way. Turn around, sir. I am turning around. I like how he says turn around and I just turned around. <laughs> right at him. Oh jeez. Oh, oh jeez. I gotta recover some stamina here. Oh. Not a big fan of me aiming so poorly there. Hey, thank you for shotgun shells. I needed that. Alright, who's the other person we needed to cure from a headache? Oh, it was the father guy, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's the the drunk father of that one kid. Yeah, this is where we were attacked randomly by vampires. Alrighty. So once we turn in this medicine to the father, I'll probably end it here. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night, or whenever you're watching this, of course. Just doing this ahead of time. Um, and then we'll head back to uh, to the West End, I guess. Because that's our next destination still, because we still got a lot to do over there. Where are we in the thing here? So we need to go the other way. Not this, not this way, the other way. Yeah, so if anything, I don't think I need to buy anything from the people here, I don't think. They don't, I don't know if they offer better stuff here. Or the same equal stuff that the other people would offer. Yeah, when we come back, we probably might talk to uh, when Loretta, science I guess. Fails you, this elixir Good evening, give you faith again. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. I can help him. What are, what are you talking about? You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. Uh-huh. I can try to help your body heal, sir. But you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. <laughs> Yeah, there there is some things that I need to t t talk to him about. I bet. No, never mind. It's just the what happened to Whitechapel so far. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. All right, that's a uh, hundred. Wow, a hundred XP for just healing. Fails you. This elixir All right, so that's it for this episode, anyways. Next episode, let's talk to Loretta because we got a new talking point for her at least, and then we'll see. Yeah, and then that would be probably it uh, from talking to Whitechapel people or to deal with Whitechapel at the moment. And I'll move back to the West End and then uh, do some other side stuff there maybe, like cure up some people there too. Because I know there are some people there with a lot of head issues, I think. If not there, then the hospital might have been with the most head issues, uh, headache issues or head, head problems that we need to cure them from. But uh, yeah, otherwise that's it for this episode. So anyways, other than that, Roz, out.